Welcome back once again to Spazites to another Transformers video review. Today we are doing a double review. As you can see, we have before us Studio Series 8609 uh, and Studio Series 8614, unfortunately, with a ripped box. Um, <clears throat> we have Rekgar and Jump Junk Heap. The the Junkions, and they are uh, mold mates. Uh, Junk Heap has been repainted and has some retooling, but is otherwise the same vehicle as you can see on the back here. They both have a, uh, a Junkion um, transformation uh, motorcycle. <clears throat> so we are going to go ahead and open them up and compare and contrast the two. Uh, Rekgar was given to me for my birthday last year by my friend Sean and his son. And Junk Heap was actually just gifted to me by um, Randy this Christmas. So thank you to her. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm going to do a quick cut and get them out of their cardboard and plastic prisons. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back after a quick cut. So stick with me. Oh, I thought my phone was on silent. <laughs> All right, here is Rekgar and Junk Heap side by side. In robot mode, they do look considerably different. We've got different um, arm pauldron guards, different shoulders, different chest. Uh, we do have the same but differently painted legs and a groin piece. Um, same color on these toolboxes that go on the sides. But again, the cod pieces are different. Same um, abs or ab abdominal area that are different. Um, let's see on the back. We've got the same gas gasoline tank. Uh, just painted differently. Oh no, it is different. So you can see on the on this gas tank, you've got this molded part here, and that's not on this other gas tank. But other than that, they look the same to me anyway. <laughs> you do have some weapon storage. You can hang the battle axe on the back here on a small, I want to say that's a three millimeter plug you can put it here or down here for whatever reason um, unfortunately this part and it's the same with Retgar this is very loose it doesn't really clip into place it slots into place but it doesn't clip into place unfortunately so their weapon is identical also their wheel accessories are identical as well. The wheels just go on the ends of these right here like that. Maybe. <laughs> Boom. Ah! But yeah, and obviously, I didn't point this out, but it's very obvious. They have a very different head sculpts, which is cool. Uh, I'm really glad we're getting more Junkions to, uh, to um, <clears throat> you know, just get more Junkions. They were probably my favorite part of the original animated movie when I was a little kid. Um, I always was a big fan. I was brought up watching the, uh, you know, reruns of Monty Python when I was little. And Eric Idle was the voice of Rekgar. And I, I just thought that was so cool. <laughs> Um, my dad was the one that had to tell me that that was Eric Idle, but still, <laughs> I thought that was so cool when I was a little one. When I was a wee tot. And we've got, uh, his tires go here. Uh, I'm not sure if his tires will fit. They don't want to stick on his side spikes because they're shorter and have this massive plate here so both of his side spikes would go on his legs which is fine it just makes the characters it differentiates them more which is cool to me um he does have 
a gun on this arm, which is pretty cool. He doesn't have it on this arm, but he does have it on this arm. It's not removable, so it's part of his body for Scrap Heap. Uh, I do love all the different t details of Scrap Heap. I think that's so cool. They did come with an identical uh, art piece backer board. Retgar's is just a little bit bigger than Junk Heap's was. Because as you saw in the video before, the Junk Heap box was a little bit smaller. So there is that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to articulation. The articulation on these guys is going to be identical. But I will do the newer figure, just for the sake of people have probably seen, plenty of people have probably seen Rekagar. Quite plenty of people have probably seen Junk Heap too. But... <laughs> Anyway, we've got head articulation, the um, antennas. Ooh, that's neat. His horn antennas fold back. They do get in the way of his head rotating all the way around, but I think that's really neat to have those horn antennas. That's neat. <laughs> uh, he's got the waist swivel, 360. Boom. Yay. Arms can spin, uh, the handlebars get in the way a little, but they can go around 360 all the way. He's got bicep swivel, ankle, ankle bend, oh, his elbows can go backwards. Okay, that works. <laughs> his hands do spin and fold back, which is pretty neat, uh, obviously for transformation. He can... He's obviously got some ab crunch because of that not clipping in thing, but that just adds a little more posability. Um, he can kick this far forward with the wheel on. With the wheel off, he can kick that far forward. These do move so that you can do the splits if you want. The knees bend this far and that far. <laughs> He can kick this far back. And, of course, ankle tilt. Huh, is there no ankle tilt? What? Oh, there is. There is. It's just attached to the, to the foot instead of... There's his ankle tilt. It looks weird like that, but he's got ankle tilt. Um, one thing I didn't notice, and it would have been great with these figures, is very few or none, uh, blast points. We've got, I believe this can hold a blast effect, but he doesn't have any blast points in, uh, in robot mode here, so he can't, like, take damage. Um, I don't know, let me grab a blast effect really quick and see if we can attach it to anything. I got one of my trusty blue blast effects out, and let's see. It will go firmly on the end of his gun. Um, I mean, I suppose he could take damage on these spikes, but it doesn't hold it very firmly. Uh, obviously not there. Those spikes hold it a little better. So he can take damage on his, uh, on his shielding, which is actually pretty cool. But yeah, he doesn't really have any other blast effects, unfortunately, so... Anyway, that's it for a robot mode. We are going to go ahead and transform them into their alt modes. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back after another quick cut. Now, because I'm going to be transforming them both, we won't get to see them uh, Retgar riding. You know what? I'm going to transform one, show you the scene where, where they're riding, <laughs> and then I'll transform the other. So stick with me. Be right back after a quick cut. Okay, here is Rekagar and Junk Heap in his vehicle mode. Um, he gets a little propeller on the back of his bike. <laughs> now, I should have set them ahead of time, but I did not. <laughs> so let's do that now and try and get... Oh, I forgot to show Rekagar with his weapon. There's his weapon. So let's put Rekagar on here. <clears throat> this might actually look better with a Voyager class figure as opposed to a 
or a, a deluxe class figure instead of another Voyager, just because Rickard's kind of beefy. <laughs> they both big boys. And there, you can put the handles, the hands on the handlebars. <clears throat> oh, I didn't mention the shoulder shrug joints. They can also shrug their shoulders, which is really cool. I like that in a figure. Just adds to more articulation and posability. But here is Rekgar on Junk Heap. Boom. I'm going to try and transform Rekgar without... Um, without uh, looking at the instructions, because Junk Heap was, was not that tricky. Um, he was tricky for a second, but once I figured it out, it was easy. I couldn't really tell on the instructions. And I forgot to mention Rekgar's nipple cannons, which are awesome. <laughs> um, I forgot to look to see if I could attach a blast effect to him, but <laughs> let's, let's do that right now. Let's get our blast effect back out and see if if Rekgar's nipple cannons can hold a blast effect. Oh man. It does not appear oh they can. But it's it looks like it stretches them out a little and I don't want to wear them out, so there we go. So yeah, there was Rutgar riding Junk Heap. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this and post it on my Instagram so that you all will, well, follow me on Instagram, number one gizmo, <laughs> of course. But yeah, we'll be right back and we'll look at both of their uh, vehicle modes uh, compared to each other. So be right back. And we're back. I managed to figure out the transformation without looking at the instructions, so yay. Yay for me. And, uh, yeah, I really like the way they look. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, Junk Heap has more gray. Um, I believe he has a wider cockpit area, whatever you call that on a bike. <laughs> and obviously, you can see his, uh, his gas tank area right there, or whatever this area is supposed to be. And then there's Rickgar's nipple guns just in the front there. <clears throat> I love how you can stand them up in vehicle mode. They have these little kickstands that flip down. This is what would normally be the back of their feet right above their heel. These flip up pretty easily. And uh, yeah, so you can have them resting and they don't tip to the side like they would if you had them like that. Which is really cool. Now, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little congested. You can look at them from the side. You can see the differences. And uh, I especially love Junk Heap's special, uh, his guards here, his uh, armor. Um, I'm a little disappointed that Rekgar and Junk Heap both have a, a, a pretty decent gap underneath the seat there. But I, it doesn't really take, take away from the overall aesthetic of the uh of the motorcycle mode which i'm really enjoying a lot i do like this uh, a whole lot uh another really cool thing i figured out and check this out i'm going to do this on screen to uh if you want to get even more of these guys you can get a second junk heap <clears throat> Have one riding a Rekgar and one riding a Junk Heap. You can make one. Uh, unfortunately, you can make one into a, <clears throat> a three-wheeler. Which is pretty neat. So you can differenti differentiate even more between the two molds. And you can make more characters with them. Or... You can take all of these wheels off of Junk Heap. And I'm just dropping everything off of them. <laughs> and you can make Rekgar a quad runner, which is really neat. Or you can put just one wheel in the center and two wheels up front and make him one of those motorcycles, which are also pretty neat. 
But yeah, here's Retgar as a quad runner. Boom. Uh, like I said, unfortunately with these things, the wheels won't go on the sides with him. So <clears throat> there is that problem, which isn't really that much of a problem. But <laughs> there we go. Quad runner and uh, trike uh, <clears throat> junk heap. So anyway, that's it for my uh, video review of Rekgar and junk heap. Two for one today. And uh, yeah, I, I really love this character. Uh, the original Rekgar toy was one of the few real Transformers that I had as a kid. And uh, and I loved it, even though his, uh, his... I can never get him transformed into vehicle mode properly for some reason. Um, yeah, I had lost the instructions as a little kid, and for some, there was something about him. I don't know if I was doing something wrong or if it was just a, a defect in the mold, but I just couldn't get him transformed into his vehicle mode. <laughs> But anyway, here's Retgar and Junk Heap. Hope you enjoyed the video review. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you really like my video and you're not already, please subscribe. It is completely free for you to do and help me grow my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, that having been said, um, yeah. That having been said, as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and when you go out, please... Please say your Bye.